program. Data uera uhoraho uri mu ijuru. Heavenly Father who is in heaven. Turagushima ko izina ryawe rihamba. We thank you that your name is great. Turagushima ko watugiriye neza ukabana natwe. We thank you that you have given us have been with us and have given us this time. Uri imana irinda kandi uri imana ibeshaho abayo. You are God who watches over your people and you take care of them. Uyu mwanya twongiye kuza imbere ya maso yawe. Right now we come before your presence. Kugira ngo tubashe kuganira ibyawe. So that we may speak to you and hear from you. Ibyawe biraruhije kumva tudafite umwuka wa. It is not easy for us to understand the mysteries of heaven without the Holy Spirit. Umwuka wera rero turasaba ngo ukomeze uduyishurirwa ndetse no kumenya. May you Holy Spirit give us the revelation and understanding. Tumenye ibyimana itwifuzaho ndetse tubigeze ku bantu. So that we may know the will of God and be able to communicate to people. Man, umfashe, umimbaraga, nubumenyi, nubengi. Father, I pray that you give me power, strength, and understanding. Mbashe, girubengi, bugawi. That I may have your heavenly wisdom. Na, kani mugeze, kubari mabanyumfa. And I may be able to communicate it to those who are listening to me. Mwizina, Rija Yesu Christu, mwami wachu. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hala mashimwe nkabiri dufite hano hanyuma dufate n'ibyifuzo tubisengere nyuma yaho nsubize ibibazo bimwe babajije There are a couple of press reports uh, we're going to listen to them and also we're going to pray for the request that you sent in then we're going to continue with our question and answers Okay Eh uh, avuze ngo uyu muntu and we have defeated him, he quote in the Bible, by the blood of the Lamb and by the testimony. As a family, we thank God for giving us the Easter miracle we had prayed for. We did see a miracle and stood in awe. We are so grateful to God, the giver of God, the friend and loving Father. Thank you to Spiritual Father for your prayers. My brother is well. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Undi and it said. Eh uh, imana uh, imana yokuri gitangaza kuri pasika eh babonye amaraso ya Yesu yabakuri gitangaza kuri cya pasika kandi ushimana ku gaposo kuko yarabasengeye eh umuvandimwe we akaba meze neza so bakabashima imana kubwibyo Yeme Yes ashimwe aposo I am so grateful for the newsletter sent teaching by Victory it is so inspiring and full of wisdom. May the Lord bless you. One is any wonder. Ndashima ndagushi ndashima imana kugwa wa poso eh kugwa newsletter mwatwohereje cyangwa se akanyamakuru kavugaga kuri kugutsinzi cyangwa se victory. Yuzemo ubwenge bwinshi kandi n'impuguro nyinshi. Imana ibaho umugisha nitwa nkunda. Okay, undi yanditse Ndagushimira ubushize natanze icyifuzo ko mwansengera kubera umwuka wa Satani wanteyeho uburaya no kutagira fever no kutagira ibyishimo ariko ubu byarakemutse nsiga yingira umunezero nkumva nkunza abantu bose ikindi sinababariraga ariko ubu nsigaye numva byaraje ndagushimiye cyane kugihufata udusengera imana idakiranirwa izabizabiture mwakoze Amen so this one, she gave a press report that uh, uh, Apostle prayed for her or him. I think it's her. Then she had a spirit of spiritual immorality or prostitution, which had uh, uh, ca captured her, and she got free. She didn't have joy. She didn't have a favor. But she's now uh, she is rejoicing, and she she's, she she feels like she has the love of people. So she thank God for the prayers, and and she said thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, for those who have given your praise reports, may God bless you. And may God continue to do even much more things that you haven't given testimony yet. Amen. 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 Abo hereje byifuzo byo byo gusengera mumenye ko naba nabo babyoreye turabasengera imana yakugize neza na turagushikira ko hereje byifuzo byo tubisengere na uzatange ubuhamya ubuta 
So we thank you for for sending your press report and thank you for press sending you also in sending your request. So we're gonna pray for you and we are expecting to listen to hear from your testimony next time. Okay. Katkonvi bzi fuzo. Yes, ashimge papa. Fiti chifu zona shaka mo nsenge la narugu ayanchi ne kuvando mna na muto kumi akumani barazi baagari ko visa kizi na kumeje kuguara nyumana je usubi la mu controlo kwa muganga menshi ariko ba sanzi wa rakose surgery na bi bamgira bamgira kandi ko ba dasho wa usubi la gukora in the surgery uburero ngeze kuri stage yaho buri kwezi kwanza muri period zihita ziza uri gihe naje gukora ama research sanga ni karande kuko famiye maternel bose barazirwaye famiye maternel stage control <laughs> anyway dufite ndi minyishi hano eh uyu uyu no mwana w'umukobwa yagize yarwaye ibibyimba mu hogo byo mwitangine kumye ku myaka 8 baramubaga ariko nyuma baza gusanga baramubaze nabi eh mu buryo byakomeje yageze mu gihe cy'imihango y'abakobwa birongera bikagaruka ari ifuza amasengesho kandi yasanze ari karande kuko ku muryango kwa mama we bagira ibyo bibazo so it is a young girl who <coughs> has had this issue since she was 8 years old she, she has a sore throat and uh, at one point she went for surgery and then there was also some complications due to the surgery uh, but also she realized that um, she was you know after the complication was healed but when she entered the, uh, the, the time when she started having these monthly periods then there was a resurgence of this problem again the issue of sore throat and to find out it was a generation curse from their, her mother's side okay Yes, I shim me, Daddy. Jeo Narongo and Mova Islam, Haman Kavana, Rigeze, Queen Jiramidi, Nigabo, Kuera, Omogao, Chandavi Vamo, Kuera, Sinavi Kunda, Hamanumogao, Paravai, Mazze Queen Jiramomazi, Mench, Ariko Mazimiaki in Vi, Mazimiaki in Vinarikum and Omogao, Kandi sing him Kunda, sing him Kunda, Riko Akaguma as a Mondoto, Yaja Kandi Narumvi se mu muryango wabo ko bakora ibintu by'imiti none nari nifuza amasengesho menshi byo nabana bandi muzo bamukoze mumfashe mu nsengere kuko ndababaye cyane so she, she said she, she, she was married to a muslim man and she spent some time with her and she actually has children with this man but at one point she left islam and got baptized but she she kept seeing this man in her dreams and uh, she has heard that this man's family or her former husband they probably do some witchcraft and uh, so she needs prayers she wants to be delivered from these nightmares yes ashimwe our prophet imani muhe imani guhumugisha nawo mukora na bose nari nkeneye inkunga y'amasengesho nkundanye n'abakobwa babiri ariko twagera igihe cyo gupanga ubukwe bugapfa this young man is saying prayer seeing prayers because he had uh, oh I had uh, uh, in the was new involved in relationship with two men uh, and on uh, two different occasions with two men where they were uh, uh, yes he, he he was in relationship with young yeah. women yeah. twice and all the time he could not get married. So he feel like he, there's a curse on him and he needs prayers to break this curse out and get married. Okay, to give you a sengera, if you have a sengera, you have a sengera, you have a We're going to pray for a prayer request, let us pray together. Mwezi na rya yesu razana, uyu mwana mkoga, ufite, ikiwa zocha maanjine, ndete, minamugora na mugechi mihango ye. We bring this young girl who has the problem of sore throat and also who has complications and pain during her period. In the name of Jesus, we pray that she will be healed from this sore throat. We believe to see a great testimony next time.
we break this generational curse and we pray for complete and total healing from this sore throat condition. In the name of Jesus. And we pray for this mother who, who was married to a Muslim, uh, but they got separated and she believed that they, they are involved in witchcraft. We pray for her protection and her children and the protection of her salvation. We rebuke and remove the power and influence of Satan on her life in Jesus' name. And also we pray for purification of her dreams. That she may have good dreams which has a promising future. We also pray for this young man who wants to marry that you will bring him a bride that you prepared for him that we may have a good marriage in the future. In the name we pray for a good marriage for him to have a good marriage in the name of Jesus give him a bride who comes from you even those who have the same problems or different issues we pray for miracles also for them Single young women, single young men, we pray that you open doors for them that we may be able to get married. Remove from them any curse or any hindrance that will stop them from marrying. Those who are being attacked by night spirit or who have different kinds of disease or different attacks, spiritual attacks, we remove it from their lives in Jesus' name. We command the peace of God to come and fill their hearts. We command that the love of God, the love of God to fill their lives and their hearts. We pray for the miracles from heaven. The miracles to open the doors that have been locked. To operate into their lives. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. That you have heard us and you have done it. Amen. Amen. May God be good to you and give you his strength. We have questions that you have asked. Bear with us, we can try to answer them because also we believe they contain also great uh, lessons and teachings. They are going to read these questions for us. So uh, this man, his name is Alex, he lives in Chigari. He, he's asking about a passage in a, or a scripture in Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. He says, God created the man, then he gives him a helper. So what kind of help was this man in need of? Or what this helper was coming to do in his life. The Bible says a, sweet, a, sweet, a suitable helper. Which means it's a woman or it's a woman or Yari wife. Eva. So that was Eve. So it was somebody who was coming to fill the gap in his emotions. It is so bad to be lonely. That's why God gives you a helper who will come and live with you. So mostly she was coming to help him, to get him out of uh, loneliness. That's how a man and a woman live together. They comfort each other. They, they help each other from being and also they support each other in life. So that's what the Bible meant by 
Yes, I see me a post on the Saga Kuas, a query Kuma and Okavi, who will be taking on the Fura, a Kurina Mubuzma Ugoe, who get it in Jenna and Divan, Kim the Queriki, Adiwe Ukira Kushavant, Mazaki one of Mijango Minch, except Java with a Mateka Kona they can go in Hurugero, Woe a post, Uruaka Vidi, Gila Icho Vivuga. Praise the Lord Apostle. Uh, I would like to ask the following question Why do you always second children? The, the second children in the family, they grow up with so much difficulties in their life, but also <laughs> compared to other siblings, <laughs> but they, they end up becoming more successful uh, and they're wealthier in their lives. Is it related to the story of Esau and Jacob as an example? You are also you are also a second parent here, the second you are in your family. So let me tell you how we are in uh, my family. Uh, our firstborn is uh, Ruben. The second one is Azaria. Number three is a daughter, her name is Kesia. And number four is, is a young a man, his name is Osea. Number five, her name is Console Neza. Number six, it's a daughter also, her name is Karen. And number seven is Paul Gitwaza. So I'm not second in my family. Is I'm number seven and also I'm the last born of the family. So I'm the last born of the family. So, but there have been also some miscarriages, also some children who died as babies, including twins. Half ibane. Probably number two. So four children uh, passed away. Dero, ibzu vuga na bumbi zinjewe. So I don't really know what you're talking about here. Ko ikiro nafura kigiru buzi ikura mubuzi mabuvi. That a second child grow up uh, with difficulty. Buzi mabugoi. Or maybe in a get difficult conditions. Eh, Simbi's a hubo. Eh, kubia na na ya kobo na na esa na ya kobo ni mfura no muherezi. Abo hagati cha nendi tugizungu tukoreshe esa na na ya kobo ni mfura no muherezi. Instead, if you want to compare with the story of or use the story of Jacob and Esau, you would say the firstborn and the lastborn. Eh, kuko urabo na no kwa no kwa Abraham ni kumzari mese. Because it was the same thing also during the Abraham uh, time, his whole family. From uh, Haran and Abraham, Nahori was number two. They were all the sons of Terah. So we see Abraham was the one who was uh, greatly blessed. We can, see, we can see Ishmael and Isaac. Even though they come from Mfura, two different women, Mwerezi, the last born Isaac was the one who was blessed. We can see also the twins of Isaac. The first born is Esau, the last one is Jacob. We see that Jacob was the one who was blessed. We can see also 12 sons of Jacob. Uh, among those sons of were born to Leah, na, no, no, and those also were born to Rachel, na, na, na ba ba Zirupa, na Biruha. and even their maidens uh, Zirupa and Biruha, eh, all those twelve sons. Na Ruben na Yosef. Yosef okay. So we can see Reuben and, and Joseph, Reuben being the first one, Joseph the last one. Uh, Benyamini waje nyuma. If we don't consider Benjamin who came at the end, uh, later stage. So if you compare these stories from the Bible, we see that Benjamin so we, we can find out, conclude, even though it is not all the last bonds, but in many cases we can say that the last children, they bear more responsibilities compared to the first born. And they are more responsible.
So there are situations where you find that last born they carry responsibility for the first born, even the second ones you are talking about. Iyo ni perturbation spirituelle ya ordre. Abantu bagomba gusengera bagaca iyo cyokarande none imfirika bimfura ikasima responsibility y'ubufura. So this is mainly caused by the disruption of the family order where the firstborn is supposed to be the responsible and carry the burden of the family. Hari nubwo nabo bikironda mfura bo hagati nabo bashobora kuremererwa n'imitwaro ndetse bagafasha babucura bagafasha n'imfura. You find also sometimes where the second borns also they 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 are the one who take responsibility they help the firstborn and the lastborn. Eh ibyo bisaba iki bisaba ko famille Mugusenga, to sing and go and never chew, but but as I give go on nibs of you know, infuriza asimilis from the infura, don't get to chew your caran, your secret, your disorder spiritual, it's almost familiar. Your disorder, Muria. So we need to pray against this so that uh, this spirit will not continue disrupting the family order and bring chaos in the family or uh, family lineage. Okay. I'd like to know more about sleep paralysis uh, when you're about to fall asleep or you feel like you're being um, captured by something or some power forces where you, you cannot even move or talk or speak. Ubundi uh, so this happened often when umuntu yaba aryamye kumva abaye nka paralyze agaparalyza where you are sleeping and then you feel like you are paralyzed eh ambop bifite ico bisobanura mu muri muri psikoloji cyangwa se parapsikoloji this has a meaning. There's a way you can explain this in psychology. But sleeping disorders. Changwe se disorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. disorder ibirimo. So they call this a sleeping disorder. So it, so you know, it means your sleep is not organized. Can be tera ubuwa. And also, it can create some anxiety and you know, some fear, scary yeah. situations. By it, parasomnias, parasomnia. So this as condition is called parasomnia. Parasomnia, no fongo. Don't if it kiba do chichi chacha somni chibi totsi. So you, it means it creates an problem. Ni beyond the usinzi, la birenze, birenze usinzi, la biri biri beyond the absolute. So this is more than just sleeping. Aha, aba nuna na gisawa nuru kihagi je ba fite. Ariko kuri tuwe bwe tusawa nuki bi nubzo muka harimba raga zaba daima oni harimba raga zimu muka zitika miro mundo. Kuba seenga iwa shije kugira imba raka vango mizi na gya eso vita vigen. Nabzo biruguana na wakuta fugiri josin. Wanda fuga aba seenga we merima. Usha gu seenga bika kunana bika kufungu muno. Ariki wacha mungu wangu Yesu. Changu mara sio Yesu. We itabiri ku. Nicho kikuele kaka kwa arimbara kaza bata imo. For people of us who are spiritual and who can see things in the context of spiritual, we 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 believe their spiritual attacks, the demonic forces which come to 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 overwhelm you in your sleep. So when you are able, and that's why they even stop you from speaking. But when you are able to open your mouth and and utter the word, the name of Jesus or the blood of Jesus, most of the time you are set free and you are delivered. Other people might not understand this, but this is a spiritual issue. Eh, aban aban wa kunzegura na bzo ariko akenshi wari ari satani kari spiritual. Ivingi bisi antifika mabera go ya kubu kubi 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 sawa nora ni yomamvu abishira muri parapsikoloji. Don't give me any psychology. Give me some take care of the man. No, no, no. Even my wife is a parasol, parasol, parasomania, parasomania. So we cannot explain this. Parasomnia, parasomnia. Scientifically, but this condition is called parasomnia. So they don't have enough explanation to give in psychology about this. But it's a spiritual. But when we are about to go to the man, we are about to be tortured. Are you? Are you going to be tortured? 
bikaba fata so they say these are people who have difficulties in falling asleep but the others who have healthy sleep but also they encounter the similar even spiritual so this is a spiritual issue can it be saba ngo ube witwike uba wagize cyane wasenze hari giye kabisa bigufatira mu ntege nke bikakuzirika gusa nyine mbere yo kuryama mugomba kuza musenga ukitwikiza maraso ya Yesu kirukana iyo myuka yose ukaryama muri security mu mutekano wima so they they take advantage of your spiritual or when, for the time when you spiritually weak when you didn't pray enough but you should really consider covering yourself with the blood of Jesus and pray before you go to bed so you can sleep in security and peace eh muri 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 zaburi gice cyakane in some chapter 4 kumurongo wakenda bibe bango nza nza nzajya ndyama sinzire niziguye kuko uwiteka ariwe umpa kuba amahoro donc ugomba kwishira mu boko y'uwiteka ni kane umu ikenda ndagira ngo muri we icyongeza ni kane munane ucyo cyangwa karindi buryo some four some four chapter uh, some chapter 4 verse 8 Mm -hmm. They say, I will both lie down in peace and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make yeah. me dwell in safety. Kuko ariwo we njine, uiteka umakuwa amahor. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Nzajandi ama, sinzi re niziku. So I will lay down, I will both lay down in peace and sleep. Donk ndari ama, sinzi re, ngu weneza, kuku uiteka uwe we njine. Ni wumpa maho, ni wumpa kusinzi ranezi. Tuwa kitugumba kuisha mwabu kwa uiteka kwa kutu sinzi ranezi. So we should put ourselves in the hands of God before we go to sleep so we can have a peaceful life. Iti ndikiba zo. Shalom Father, mfitikiba zo. Se kwa watu gie mbo umunu utawa tishuwa liko ye mera yesu apuwe yo na mnizu. Haliku mwuri petero wa ambere gata tu makumi yawe na limge kwa abuga mbo. Kubatizwa ni sezera no jima, no neni kute utabatiz utabatizwe apfu yeyo jamii juru, kandi na sezera na fit murakosi. So this one uh, he wants to know if if you are not been baptized, and the Bible says according to him first Peter chapter three verse twenty one. That baptism is a covenant with God. So how can you go to heaven if you die without being baptized? ndagira ngo ubanze bumva icyo Petero yavugaga yavuga ko kubatiza ahanga ari cyo bita good conscience eh umutima udatukirina donc Petero wa yes i want you to understand what peter was trying to say here 121 icyo bivuga Petero wa mbere kabiri 2021 first peter chapter 121 yeah it's an antitype anti antitype which now saves us. Baptism, which now saves us. Baptism is not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Kubatizwa ngo nugupfa ukazuka na Yesu. Donke uko Yesu ya puye na wakazuka. Petero wa mbele katatu, ok, diwari. Petero wa mbele katatu, maku miyari numu. Icho bibiri ya ifuga hano, ilavuga kwa yego, umubatizo, kudukizu vuga ni, isezara nufuga ni ili. What kind of covenant are you talking about? Isezara no promise. What kind of promise are you talking about? Eh, dufite ama promise, men, shariko, ata tutayagezeo, tibu atuma tutajamu ishu. We have so many promises, but we, we, they cannot stop us if we don't fulfill them. We have to, we don't have all of them fulfilled. It will not stop us from going to heaven. Ah, bibi ayavuze ngo na nubu amazi ni yaba kiza na mu muriyo bi gishusha ni choko batizwa ulumva koko batizwa. Icha kola sukwa kura ho icho bjo kumubi. Ahu goni sezerano kuma na riumuti ma uti chiru vanza. Iba kiri isha kuzuka kwa Yesu Christ. Donke, iyo munu ya kiji juwe, akawa tizwa, awa yu jujebzo, senti yongi na kuichiru rubanza umutima, ngwaricha tagezeo. So when you have been saved, then 
and get baptized so you don't have this uh, regret in your heart yeah. feeling like you haven't done this step or haven't fulfilled your requirements donc ni sezera no ri duhamiri za koko ko turi kumwe ni imana cyangwa se dufitanye ubusabane ni imana so it is a it is a it is a promise that assures us that we have a relationship with god dero uravuga ngo sijo sezera no ni sezera no ki so you are asking what type of, what type of promise is this? So if you die, are you asking if you die without being baptized, can you go to heaven? You can go to heaven. We have many promises. You have many promises. We have many promises. Marrying, having good jobs. You can die without having all those promises, but still you go to heaven. So promises are not the ones to take us to heaven. So promises are not the ones which give us to heaven. The access to heaven, we, we obtain it through Jesus Christ and also uh, repentance. So the promise that gives you assurance that you have completed the order you have completed the requirements in salvation that's what the bible says but the answer of a good conscience towards God. Mm. Kindi? Shalom, Papa. Ndumukoga ugeze jigie cho gushaka. Fitikiwa asu shaku soba anoridi. Mazagukunda na naba hungu batatu wose. Tanduka na muhujo ugeenda gusamu. Kandi wo simana ilaba ambuza ingani uje uh, minyu ze mwuzozi. Ariko ni nangiru mutima kugeza tutanduka nye chane chane. Uo nakunda nye nawe ugambeli. Imana mungu je kenshi gashoka. Yewe na mama na papa unde na pasta unde la mumu kana na nje kugiti changu maana ikanga niliza aliko kana nira kubivam numva gamu kumuzi kandi numva ugo akirishwe atame mukir aliko uko wabimbi kwenye ni kutoa tangu kani ndaba bara chani aliko vigera ho vira shira no ni kwa zifite ese kuba umusole wa sulu tangu ye gukunda na imani mumbuza nuga nugo na kwanga kuyumvira birangira nubundi dutandukanye na wa muhungu imana ya mungu jisi no nubwo nuko imana ikunda cha inkunda cyane idashaka ko nu komva mu mugambi wayo nkazagira urushako rubi nkazicuza cyangwa hari indi somo ishaka kunyigisha buri cyangwa se ahubwo ni karande yo kudashaka nayo ibifitemo uruhare urakoze i am uh girl or young woman ready to get married but i have a problem that need i need you to help me understand i have been in relationship with men or young men potential husbands at three different occasions i separated with all of them in similar circumstances often god tells me in my dream that i should abandon those relationships in all cases i try to resist that thought of losing them to the point even my mother and my pastor also confronted me asking me to separate from those men especially the first one because he was saved so i felt like he was not going to betray me i refused but as i was warned i ended up being heartbroken but unfortunately or fortunately i was able to move on after some times with my life so this is my question this ha does this happen because God loves me so much that he does not want me to find myself in a non-functional marriage and later regret it? Or there is another lesson God wants me to learn in this, in this circumstance? Or maybe it is a generational problem of not marrying that I'm facing. Thank you. Thank uh, you. So your questions are a little bit complicated. Because we are involving God, you say God is the one who tells you to stop this. Relation. So if God is the one who asks you to abandon or stop this relationship, so there's nothing you can add on that. 
ariko niba ari imana ari amaranga mutima kuki se no no birangira bipfuye aho nari kumenya ko ngusubiza ariko deja urerekana ko ari imana ndetse na pasteli wawo mumuka ndetse na babyeyi bawo kandi bigenda imira gutyo ndumva kigoyi gato ya gusubiza ariko ndagerageza so if it maybe this were your own uh, emotions and and thoughts that uh, were asking you to stop or felt like you should stop the relationships but you said it was God precisely was telling you that and also your mother and your pastor was telling the same thing and they also it ended up uh, you uh, having this relationship uh, broken or, or, or ended okay eh uh, ko so let us um, i'm going to try to answer your questions let us assume it is god who restores you in your dream niba ari imana imikubuza ababahungu so if it is god who tells you to abandon this relationship it means he loves you kandi rashaka kuguha uwo yitoranyirije and it means there's somebody he has prepared for you and he wants you to marry that person kandi naza ntibizongera gucika and when this man will come in your life you will have no other problem nanone niba tari imana but if this is not from God. Ari karande ziri mozi zikubana nyinshi bigatuma byica makwe yawe. If it is a generational issue in your family which come to break your relationships. Mwizi na rya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Duchiyo karande. We break that generation. Kuvuyu munsi from today. Uwima ni zohereza. The one God is going to send. Karane ni zamu hagarike mwazi. He will not be stopped by these curses. Kandu zuba kuruguru guizu. And may you have a good marriage. Ima ni zaku gire nezi. And my God will be good to you. Usicho na kukundi eni kimu. But this is what I liked about you. Wewe ndi wigeze ubuza anga ngu ima na ya kwe ngowa. Wara kome jiku geza buzo njine bizi ya garitze. Ukome zi wa itituidu. So you have you kept this attitude of forcing and keeping these relationships even though you felt like God had told you. So I want you to keep that attitude. Because if if it is God, it's gonna end up stopping. Because the Chiman is a call. So it, it was going to be a problem if that voice was not from God and you had obeyed it. Mm -hmm. But since you believe it is from God, but you keep on insisting on your relationship, keep on that attitude. It yeah. will continue. If even if somebody else comes, keep on uh, into that relationship. Yeah, go. Shalom, and I'm Kishan Gizin, a young man who watches Christo, and the Ujo Apostle Dugu Ravinus and Mokusu is a reverse. Tumaze kumenya no gusobanu kibuga byinshi binyuze muri we. Ikibazo cyanjye gishingiye mu gitabo cyitangiriro ese ko iki gitabo cyanditswe Mose atarabaho byagenze gute ngo kimwitirire. Imana ibaho umugisha. Shalom I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I like the way Apostle is answering our questions so I've been learning so much through these questions. So my question concerns the book of Genesis. How was it attributed to Moses, that is the one who wrote the book, whereas the book was written before he was born? So Moses wrote five books. Genesis, Kuva, Exodus, Avalewi, Leviticus, Kubara, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Actually, the last chapter of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, he was uh, giving his last statement. Chapter 33 of Deuteronomy, he dies. God buries him. Then afterward, he kept on writing about how it happened. So if really these books were written by Moses, Moses is the one who wrote this book. Akenshi Arabagiragiza Abatemira Iere Konobishuriwa Bagaz Bushaki Shabate say Abari Wetamati Abari. Some people who don't believe into a, a revelation, they, they try to understand if really it is it's him who authored these books. 
So they, uh, they wonder how, when were they written or produced? Even the book also, the book of Job. It is one of one of the oldest books. Which probably might be older or written before Genesis. So these are very ancient books. Uh, so the book which were written by Moses. When God took Moses to the mountain, he gave him a revelation of the things which happened before. And then God told him to give those revelations to Joshua. Exodus Let us go into the book of Exodus 17 verse 14. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this for a memorial in the book and recount it in the hearing of Joshua that I will utterly blot out the remembrance mm -hmm. of Amalek from under heaven. Mm. God told him, Write this. Joshua. Joshua, write this. And the Mugita, what should we put? Write this in a memorial book. Urumvako Yeriku Amusozi, Azam Yamabok. So he was on that uh, mountain, he was lifting. Moses, Yeria, how a revelation in each other. Moses had received a great revelation. Imana, Imobilibs of Bukor. God told him what to do. The Kature Mugita Wacha Chokuba, I mean, Tatunaga Tatkumanwakabi. Let us also go into the book of Numbers. Chapter 33, Numbers chapter 33, verse. What is it? Verse 2. Mm -hmm. Moses, and now Moses wrote down the starting points of their journeys mm -hmm. at the command of the Lord. Yeah. Moses and the king and those in the Rosabo, I will take a screen we take. Urumva. Ingendo so sare mu gitabo cha Deuteronome gutaya kwa kabiri ni gitabo ce cyo kubara Mose yari mu yandika Imana amubwiye uko yandika So Moses uh, who wrote down all the starting points of the all the journeys they took during the wilderness They got to him To the beginning the chand it's kwe mu gutaya kwa kabiri Let us go into the Deuteronome ndumva bari nka 31 Gutaya kwa kabiri mu rongo 31 turebe ku murongo 24 buryo. Deuteronomy 31 verse 24. Mm. 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 kuri 24. So it was when Moses Yego. So it was when Moses had completed writing the words of his law in a book ah. when they were finished. Olumba. Moses amaze kwandika amagambo yayo mategeko mu gitabo ayarangi. Urumva ko Moses niwe wanditse. Ibivuga rero ibyitangiriro no gupfa kwe iriya ni revelation y'Imana yamuhaye. So you, you understand that all these were written by Moses because he wrote all these laws in his books but concerning the genesis, genesis and the things which are written after his death that was a revelation that God gave them eh ndetse muri Nehemiah and also in the book of Nehemiah chumi na gatatu murongo wa mbere Nehemiah book uh, chapter 13 verse 1 yeah nawe abi abikomoza ho Nehemiah miro chumi na gatatu murongo wa mbere in the book of Nehemiah 13 verse 1. Mm -hmm. on, that day, on that day, they read from the book of Moses uh -huh. in the hearing of the people, uh -huh. and in it was found written that no Ammonite or Moabite should ever come into the assembly of God. Ah, Somera Banu Mugitabo Chamos. Basanga and its Kumo Yuko Tam Moni Changu Mumuabu, Uzajam with an Uriman Tekarios. Urumbaco, Mose and its Vitabo Nibze. In Iman Amishu, Iman is Ibzashize, Nibizava. So God gave a revelation to Moses about the past and the future, and he wrote those things in, in, uh, in the books. Ikinikin to Gomba Kumenyaha, 
point is the level at which God talked or spoke to Moses, which were way beyond the way he interacted with other people. When you go into the book of Numbers chapter 12, Numbers chapter 12 verse 6, all the way to verse 8, Araba Bwirati, ni muva magambo yanje, ni ba muri mwe hazabamo umuhanuzi. Mwiyerekwa niho uwiteka nzamwimenyeshereza. Mu nzozi niyo nzavuganira nawe. Umugarangu wanje Mose si kwa meze. Akiranuka mu rugo rwanje hose. Umunani, ngu uwowe tujya twivuganira na kanwa kacu neruye. Atari mu migani kandi ishusho y'uwiteka jya yibona. Then he says, Hear now my words, if there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. Not so with my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. I speak with him face to face. Even plainly and not in dark sayings. Uh -huh. And he says, he sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against myself? Urumva imana niba yarafugana ganda Moses nko umuntu avugana nundi. So God spoke to Moses as a man to speak to another man. Yamubwiye ibintu byinshi. So he told him so many things. Bi ibyo Moses yabashe kwandika. Hari byo yanditse. And he, Moses were able to write some of these things. Kuko bimwe ni imana yabimubwiye ibindi nibyo bacagamo ibindi ni byagombaga kuza. Because some of these uh, his writings are from the revelation of God. Others is the history that they went through, and also he talked about, also he wrote about the future of things that would come. The reason that we agree that he also uh, showed them the future, when you go into the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18, chapter 18 verse 18, so this is Moses speaking to Israelite. Yeah. Kwicu bino munani arababwira ngo nzabahagurukiriza umuhanuzi umeze nkawe uko mutse muri bene wabo. Nzashira amagambo yanje mu kanwa ke. Age ababwira ibyo mutegetse byose. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brethren and we put my words in his mouth and he shall speak to them all that I command him. Ah urumva ko yababwiraga ibindi biza so he was talking to them about another prophet who would come at later uh, in the in the years to come. Good. Ikindi kibazo. Shalom, shalom. Na gomba kubaza mugihe ababyeyi bose batakiriho kandi ata wundi yabaye mu mwanya wabo uretse imana. Banumva gukora dote bidakenewe kuko bavuga ko ari agashimwe kabavyeye. Kumu Kristo harece no bangize nabi mu mpanuro. Ikindi yakomeje avuga merci ari kivyo nivyo niyumvira cyenyene ntabwo ndamenya uwo tuzubakana ngo menye icyo ashobora kwibaza. Icya kabiri maze kumva yuko iyo umuntu asenze asambura ibicaniro bya Satani ni gute maze kumva ko umuntu asenga asenya ibicano za satani ni gute umuntu yubaka igicaniro cy'Imana ni gute umuntu yakomeza igicaniro mu gutanga ikimazi kizima ikindi ni kihe kimazi umuntu yotanga kimazi kimazi umuntu yatanga murakoze icyanyuma yavuze ni gute umuntu yakora ni sezerano n'Imana Shalom shalom I, I, this person has three questions. He started by greeting. He's, number one, he's asking if you have not, you didn't have parents. Your parents died or passed away. But, and you didn't have a guardian or somebody who would replace them or pray their own in your life except God. So do you need to have or to receive a dowry at your wedding? And he said, she said, this is my opinion. I have not been married yet to know what my future uh, spouse will do. And number two, I heard that there are prayers that destroy the altar of the devil. So how does one build an altar for God? And what kind of uh, sacrifice can he give 
to, uh, to, to, to strengthen that altar of God. Question number three, how can I have a covenant with God? Okay. Ijambo rya mbere kuba warapfushe ababyeyi byo bose nti bivuze kuzarunga kuzubakana no wapfushije ababyeyi bose wazakenera ko azakenera ababyeyi bako bakora ubu kwe so the fact that keretse na uzarunga rumeze nka ariko niba afite bo ababyeyi muzakora dote so unless you have lost your parents and you are going to marry somebody also who has no parent but if you end up marrying somebody who has parents they will have to do this traditional wedding where they give the dowry eh kandi mwembi niba mwembi ntababyeyi but also if both of you have no parents aba pastor ibanyu nababyeyi your pastors are your parents iyo nkwa no muzaye pastor so give that dowry to the to your pastor ariko nukareke gukobwa nta gakiro na uzagufita ugomba gukobwa nabana bavuka bagomba kuvuka nyina yarakowe hagomba kuba hano haji nkwana uzaje kwa pasteli cyangwa pasteli akwereke abagabo mu itorero bakubera ababyeyi muri cyo gihe but do not neglect the dowry you should receive this dowry and and give it to your pastor if you have no parents you, as you said your pastors can play a role of your parents or can show you uh, some elders in church who can play a role for your parents usiki no numva muri ngiye mushiki wani ufite gikomere but i think that, uh, my sister you have been really greatly wounded nsaba ko washaka umushumba agakubera umubyeyi cyangwa se umuntu wakubera umubyeyi pe kuko uramukeneye kandi ufite igikomere mutima so you should look for you ask your pastor to to be your parent or help you to find the one because you need the parent because cyangwa family ya gufata ngo umubyeyi or a family which can adopt you and be your parent a yeah, foster family don't care like, like a like yes like a foster family that will consider you as their daughter so you talked about destroying the altars of Satan but many people they just uh, say this on their lips but they, they really don't know how to destroy this and they don't know how to build the altar for God. Maybe you should have asked, how can we destroy these altars and can we build the altar for God? They can query King, they don't know really. Let me give you a few examples from the Bible. Eh, um, in, in Elia, uh, the prophet Elijah, how did he destroy the altars of Baal? So he didn't go to destroy physically the altars. So they slaughtered, he slaughtered the, and he killed the, the prophets of Baal. Because there is no altar without a priest. Each, the value of the altar comes from the presence of the priest. So he removed the prophets, he killed the prophets because they are the ones who were sacrificing from these altars. There is no altar without a priest. So the the altar of a witch is that witch. So you are the one to pray. You need to pray against that. Ugo ba kumu sengero murozi, ukamu paraliza, ukamu turitsa, ukamu kuvita hasi, ukasabi mana. Imuza na muga kiza kizwe, imukure muri zonzi la midom. Ugo ba kumu otsa. Uoni niwe niwe waki di chani. So you need to pray against this witch doctor or sorcerer. You are the he's the one you need to capture spiritually. He's the one you need to bring to God. He's the one who needs salvation. Not to the altar. Uka musengero kama huzani ima. So you need to pray until he comes to God. Aka menya yes. That he will know. Aki hano. And he will repent. Changu aka kuva muzir. Or he will go away. Tiyonge ubute. And he will not attack you. Ubu senyu igi chani. At that time you have will have destroyed the altar of the devil. Kuba kigi chani ni ubute. So this is how you build the altar for God. Yo yatangi yakuba kigi chani rochi mana mbere yuko senyi kigi chani rochaba ya rumba. 
So he started building the altar for God before destroying the altars of Baal. Igicha niyo chima na kigomba kuba kwa igicha satani kila kuku chima niyo kihari igicha satani kibula mahoro. So you need to build the altar of God before you do anything on the altars of Satan because once the altar of God is erected, then the Satan uh, altars they start having troubles. Kuku igicha niyo chima na niyo hamanu kiri muriro sibzo niyo hamanu kira umuriro u u u. Usenya Chagi chanyo cha satana Because from the altar of God That's where the fire will send, descend And destroy the altars of the devil Ama ze gusengu muriro Wala mwana ze kuri chagi chanyo Aba anuwa bo nyumuriro Wala wango iyini yo mana nyamana Hanyuma hati mwe mei kwa riyo hee Ni mufata wa wahanuzi bibi nyoma Nuko baba fashi So after praying Hali konu kuhari gi chanyo Uri yariya wanjibu sana After praying the fire came down So people realize God of heaven was real God in Jehovah and then with his the help of the crowd they captured this prophet and killed him because he prayed Haru buryo bubiri twubaka igicaniro So there are two ways you can build the Uburyo bwa mbere Number 1 nitwebwe muri twebwe gushira mu gicaniro cy'amasengesho no kuramya Imana This is putting or building an altar prayer in our hearts of prayer and praising God. Igichani no muri wewe chama senge shuki kumba kuba kiri twenty four hours. Event katre amasama kumia bina. So the the prayer altar in your heart should be continuous. Should be day and night twenty four hours. Nesi chokuramia. And also the altar of praise. Ubi genzute. And this how you do it. Ubi rumu kawe. You tell the Holy Spirit. Nimeyo kusenga nimeyo kuri rim. After praying and praising God. Bati nawe kumezangi yakuria. You ask the Holy Spirit to continue praying. A kumezana we iya sumuriro. And He keeps on igniting the fire on the altar. Wongera kwa nunga ni na ukazu ugakoro kabiri mu kwa na tirekera ona jengori. Wana ni kwa timu kwa wera kore. And when you wake up, you keep on also praising, praying to God. And when you get tired, you you, you leave it to the Holy Spirit to continue. Ubu nu buzima, buga masenge shuru da chamuri wau. Gomu sawe ubu dasiwa ni kopo ya zama tesaloni. So this is a lifestyle of prayer. The Bible says in the book of Thessalonians that you should pray and ceasingly. So we should keep on praising God. Ariko harina masaharero. But there are also some specific. Umu na gomba kugira mubuzi. Where you should establish in your life. We have 24 hours in a life. So you need to pay a tithe of those times. That will be 2 hours and 40 minutes. Every day. Every day. You, every day you need to pray, praise and read the word of God. For 2 hours and 40 minutes. You need to pray. You need to praise Him. Muri wewe, no gusoma bibiri. And also read the Word of God. Amfete na masaha tatu tufuke. So we can say maybe around. Buri musi kwa mabugira masaha tatu ya weni iman. Igi chani wachaka kizava cha atse. Ewa na kindi tu gusaba imani gusaba. So you should consider having these three hours of igniting your altar, praying, praising. You are your altar will be. Kuri chogi chani orero ni uza kora ni imani sezeran. So from that altar, that's when you're gonna have a covenant with God. A covenant of protection, of love, yamahoro, of, of peace. That time you, you write down a, a letter to God. And you need to write down a letter to God. And you need to write down a letter to God. And you need to write down a letter to God. And you need to write down a letter to God. And you need to write down a letter to God. And you need to write down a letter to God. And you need to write down a letter to God. After my wedding, you need to write down a letter to God. My, at that time, my wife was, was working. I was working, but I was not being paid. <laughs> I was an evangelist. <laughs> and in a, a prayer world, <laughs> that was my job. <laughs> so I didn't earn any money. My wife is the one who was earning money through her salary. She was she was paid uh, the equivalent of hundred dollars today. Eh, and that was in the year 1997. No, 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 no. So after our wedding, we sat down together. We took a, pay, a letter. A we said we we're going to make a covenant with God. Covenant of protection. Yamahoro. Of peace. Yurukundo. Of love. And also, uh, or being covered 
as financially, where we have no debt or loans. Donc, il m'a des articles sur ma dénie. So that God can pay off our debts. Il m'a des articles sur l'inzu. God may pay off our house. Téléphone. Our uh, electricity. Electricity. Nandi ma dénie tous agi. And all and other bills that we are going to. Uh, in kind of so that was uh, on, on the last day of the year 1997 on New Year's Eve. We kneeled down on our paper. We, we took the paper. We showed it to God. And then we, we put it in a drawer. We put it somewhere in our archives. And that's what happened. So this will happen there. Eh? Haru munuzu tui shurira telefone za chukuri uwanda teri tutamuzi. Tuka wana kusaba tukwereje fakitiri yako tui shurira. We find out that there was someone who was uh, paying our phone bills from Rwanda Te and without telling us, without informing us. Undi muna raza. And somebody also came. Alato wila ngo mufati nzu au mushaka yose nzaza nyibi shurira. Somebody came and he said, uh, rent a home anywhere you want. Uh, I'm going to be paying that rent for you. Ya turi inzu kugeziki na tutwa tangu ya kugira mafaranga turamu biliango rekera honga. So he paid the rent for us. Tutwa geziki tuwa kuishuli. Until we were able to pay for ourselves. Kamuri ngamu bihumbi bili na kanga. Maybe after a year two thousand. Eh, umma na wachu yafu kemo bili. Our firstborn was born in Belgium. Kukin fura ya chu ya fuye. Because our firstborn died after 10 minutes after, from birth. Then the second one was born in Belgium. So the because uh, my wife had complications during the delivery of the first child, so we decided that the next time she's going to to go in Europe to, to have I call it to to but we are not financially able to, to, to do this. So we were once in evangelism in Switzerland. No, no, to tanu kanawe agi emu biri gusura mukuruwe na jengi ye subiye murguanda. I call it to nigitera ni bujumbur. So we we separated when she was going to Belgium to visit her uh, elder sister. When and I had to go back to Rwanda and also in, I had a conference in Burundi. Ya je gufatwa. So she experienced some difficulties, uh, complications in her pregnancy. Then they had to rush her to the hospital, and the baby was delivered at seven months. And there was a big chance that he would also have died had he been born in Africa. Because he received so much care in, in, in Europe. So we didn't have uh, funds to pay off the bill hospital. So we had to pay off the bill hospital. So the bill was equivalent to 15,000 US dollars that time. So my wife told me. We prayed about it. But we had a covenant we made with God. We had a covenant we made with God. So uh, after some time she told me somebody had paid off uh, the hospital. So that's how we spend our time with God. Because of the covenant we made with him. So if you make an alliance with him, you can make an alliance with him. So if you make an alliance with him, you can make an alliance with him. 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 So we, 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 when you make a covenant with God, you need to be doing something also on your side for Him. You cannot just make a covenant and go sit down. No? You need also to be doing something for His kingdom. Okay. Ikindi. Ese bibaza umuntu aterwa no kugeragezwa bitandukana bitandukanira he nibyo aterwa na karande cyangwa indi myuka So how can you tell the difference in the spiritual maturity of of believers number 1 number 2 
How can you tell a spiritual mature believer? How can you tell this person is spiritual mature? Number three, what is the difference between the test from God and trials from generational curses or other the attack of evil spirits? E mugakiza nti bisaba ngo ubugize imyaka mugakiza ariko biterwa ni jambo ufite muri wowe ijambo ijambo nibyo biryo byacu iyo ufite ijambo ryinshi muri wowe ubu ufite maturite mu muka nufa guhendwa hendwa so when you have the word enough word of god in you you are really spiritually mature because people cannot just deceive you with with different opinions ngo nabiki ijambo rya mu mutima wanje kugira ngo ntaza gucumuraho za buri jana 19 ko ngo 10 uh, I kept my your word in my heart so that I will not sin against you. Psalm 119 verse 11. Your word is a lamp to my feet. Psalm 119 verse 105. May, 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 may the, his word be full in your, in your heart. Yeah, Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. So the word of God should fill your heart with songs and spiritual songs and, uh, and, 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 and in your heart as it is. So the, the, the level of the knowledge of the word of God in your heart and the wisdom also to discern from the, the good from the bad and also how you overcome sin in your life and also the fruits that you bear fruit of the spirit that you bear in your life. another also another um, uh, test what can tell you the difference between mature person or the believer is how you conduct or the attitude you adopt during the test. So the test and trials they draw us closer to God. The generation problems they overwhelm us and oppress us then it push us back. Now and then Evil spirits, the attack of evil spirits and temptations, they draw us away from God. Imana higeregeza ni chayu. Chaki higeregeza gitumugiru muka wogu senga, wogu soma chane, wogu kukuba zabandi, gukuli kila temu anyaji, yugatuma wegeri ma. So when it is a test from God, that test brings you closer to God. You want to read the word of God, you want to pray, and you want also to listen to the testimonies of the people who went through the same situation and also but when it is a trial or temptations from Satan and the attacks from Satan you feel like they are drawing you away from God they don't want you to pray they don't want you to keep on your salvation okay Praise the Lord Apostle. Uh, I would like to know where it is written in the Bible where when when you waited in church that you should receive a ring. Is it written in the Bible? Number two, also when you have difficulties of conceiving uh, between a husband and a wife, then you go to the hospital or to the medical experts to receive I call it in vitro fertilization. Is that a sin? So the ring is not a ring for uh, married people. It's not, it's not written in the Bible, but the ring itself is it's a, it's a symbol of covenant in the Bible. Biblia ivuga ku imbeta ari kimenyetso. The Bible says that ring is a symbol of covenant. Eliezer yayambitse Rebeka. Eliezer gave the ring to Rebecca. Ki kimenyetso kwa bayo yebe ku mugore wa Isaac. As as a symbol of a covenant that she accepted to be a wife to Isaac. Pharaoh yayambitse Joseph. Pharaoh also gave a ring to Joseph. Ki kimenyetso cyo gutware. 
as a symbol of authority. Daniel, eh, da, eh, Dario, yaishize ku, ku, ku kibuye, dirio uh, umuwa wingari. Darius, also King Darius, put the ring on on the on the den of lions. Kiki menyezo kigana gazako amategeko adakurgo aringa kashi icho iyo siri yari kashi imbetani kashi. So that 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 ring was like a stamp of approval that the rules should be followed. Ise umma na wiki rara yaya ambiti kira rache cha agaru temuruko bivuga ngo yonge kugaruka mu sezerano imbetani sawa nuraga. Alliance, he says that. The father of the prodigal son gave a ring to his son when he came back home as, as a symbol of his being reunited with his family again. Kuyambi, kui kore shareron kicho kimenye tso muri bibiri ya, biyo igara gazako, ubo hanye nuwo mtu, imbere imana ni imbere yabana, ni kimenye tso prophetic. So using the ring at your wedding uh, in the Bible context, it is a symbol that you are being united to that person. It's a prophetic uh, declaration or symbol in your life. I, I don't think there is any sin in using in, in vitro fertilization because it is a pathway God has revealed to people that they can use once they have this. Kuko iman itabishatse nubwo bazishira mu ntavuka wa mwana. Ariko iyamana yabishatse umwana ravu. If it is not the will of God, even if you do this in vitro fertilization, you will not conceive. You will not have to keep. You will not be able to keep this uh, 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 pregnancy. But if it is the will of God, the child is going to be born. Amen. Amen. Twelve. Yes, mm. Kuko hari abonzi bagiye guse bagiye gusenyera bagiye gusenyerwa naba nababyara babo nabashiki babagabo babo nababyara babagabo nababyara babagabo babo nabashiki babagabo babo ngaya cyane abagabo batagira umutima bacumva banzi basenye babasenyera ingo uziko ukundana nuwo wakunze ishari rikica abantu babura Bababura uko bakabura uko babigenza ingo zawo bazarabanana zarabananiye bakifuza gusenya izabana bato nako zitohoza nsanga bari abasenya izabandi nabo ubatse nabe kuko ndi umunzi aho ntuye ingo zifite ibibazo kubera imiryango yu nibi yego urakoze cyane um, satana cha mubano kwa rango wa senye kandi ya wanu uwa teneza harabandi birja nono wa kinjira mumago chane chane mirjango na wane kwa rango nawe uwe onawe abo turaba azima tabu tuwe rango tuza abiji ishe shitana lahari yinji ya mubano kwa rango wa senye na wane gusikiwa wa jenuko wa mugawa wa mugore nawe uwe merele wa musenye la kabatizi shoka nawe 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 ni kindi kibazo ni wa hubo tuwamba kubwe yango akundu mugore we Yes, there's certain there are people who get envy and jealous about when you have a good marriage and they attack you. And also there are these people in the family relatives who come to destroy you, your marriage. So this is certainly behind. Uh, but we can also blame the husband who accept that his relatives would come to destroy his marriage or a wife who that accept uh, other people to come and destroy uh, his, his, his family through him. Through her. Mm -hmm. Shalom, a person do Christo was in temple with Jumbura, Mani Gum Gishakuko, Umit Karariko, Fise, Kunama, or Hawe, it was a Chandinik. Bega Yumono, Atara Gira, Murimo, Ukaragara, Murusengero, Arikoe, Akagiru Muhigo, Gushikira, Murimo, Iman, Amutanga, Mafaranga, Akashiram Giseke, Chituro, Atavi, Gie, Abamuyor, Begi Chogi, Omu. So this is a believer who is from Zen Temple Bujumbura and uh, she, she, this person loves Apostle. But he says, uh, uh, if you are a believer and you don't have a specific role in church or where you, are, you have a responsibility in the church, 
but you decide in your heart that you will be giving a gift and you put in your uh, offering box without announcing it to anybody. Are you not going to receive the same reward as the servants of God? Yes, you will. You will receive the same reward. And you are going to receive your reward because you have vowed and you are supporting the, the, the church of God or the word of God. Mm -hmm. And God is faithful. He is going to promote you. You will become a servant of God. Shalom, Papa, Apostle. Dabu kunda pe. Harige niwa za niwa uru munu saanzwe. Changwa ya. Changwa ima anaya wa yara kohereje mwujo gi hari. Iki indi watu gira. Ingaruka zumu vumo noa ya vumye hamu a. Shalom Apostle, I love you so much. Sometimes I wonder if you are a, a, a real a, 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 a man or somebody who has been <laughs> sent by God. And also, I would like to know about uh, the curse that Noah pronounced on Ham. Who was affected by that curse? Let's look at this uh, pronouncement of Noah. Nigiche chache na nagirangi tangirira. Eva ni wuka. No avu yemungu ge kuni choge yanyu arasi nda. Ya no vari gicha chache nda. I think it's in chapter nine. Uh, after they left the ark of Kavan. Ah, uh, yes, the ark. Ego, Tureva Kumurongo, Makumyadi Nakane. It has read it from the Makumyadi Nakabi, twenty two, twenty four. Let's go twenty two, twenty four. Yeah. Hamu Hamu Sewakanani. I want to say, I'm by us. I will get a Venice, Barry Hans. Shame when I affected the end of my barrow. Oh, she could be to go to the world. Wagenzi imigongo batwikira ubwambure bwase kandi kuko bari bamuteye imigongo ntibarora ubwambure bwe no warasinduka amenya ibyo umuhererezi we yamugiriye 25 aravuga ati kanani avumwe azaba umugaragu wabagaragu kuri benese kandi ati uwiteka himbazwe niwe mana ya shemu kanani abe umugaragu we and the harm the father of kanani 27 Imana yagure yafet, abe mumahema ya shemu, kani abe umugaragu, kanani abe umugaragu. And mm -hmm. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japhet took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see the father's nakedness. Eh, uh -huh. So Noah awoke and from his wine and knew his young son had done to him. Then he said, Curse to be Canaan, a servant of the servants, shall be to his brethren. Aha, Noah, you're after one water. So here, Noah had three sons. In Furari Shem. The first born was Shem. And the last born was Japhet. The second one was Japhet. And the last born was Ham. Barba Mazenabo Kurongo, Barba of Tabagor. They were also married. Umana Wambere win for Oham eat for Canaan. So the first born of Ham, or her name was Canaan. 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 No neo Ham of Nubamber Gasa Jacobi Giraba Gains, but Musa Zaya sins and babies. So Ham saw the nakedness of their, of their father and then he went told his brothers. So he told them that my our father is naked. So this is what they did. They came. Shemu na yafete bafatu mwambaro bagende shumugongo bororo sase. So they Shem and Japheth they came and they took garment and they went backwards. They covered the nakedness of their father. So when his, their father awoke from uh, the sleep of, of being drunk, so they told him the news that uh, Ham saw his nakedness when he was. So uh, Noah decided to 
punish. So let us look at the, the children of Ham. Chapter 10, verse 6. Bene Hamuni Kushi. Kushi Abakushite. Donke Navan Ethiopia. Na Misraim. Misraim ni muri Misri muri Egiputa. Na Puti. Puti ni muri Libya. Na Kanani. Kanani ni muri Israel. Ija Kana. So these are the sons of Ham who were Kush, the Kushite, Mizraim, which is Misri, Egypt, which, which is Egypt, Put, which is Libya today, and Canaan in Middle East or in Israel. Vala. Kuko Abanibo Yabzai, Abahungu Bani. So these are his sons, four sons. Uanyuma, na inafuzu wambere no, Uanyuma ni Canaan. So the last born was Canaan. Muba na ba noa, Uanyuma yarinde. Yari Hamu, Mubanoa. Oh, yes, Noah was yes. <laughs> Mubana Bano Koribata. Among the sons of Noah, the last born was Ham. Ham. Mubana Ba Ham, Uan Yumani in the Canaan. Among the sons of uh, Ham, the last born was Canaan. Abzu Serero Avuma Canaan, in Tabuevum Yam. So when he awoke from his sleep, he cursed. Canaan, not Ham. He cursed Canaan, his grandson actually. Kush. So these are the ones he didn't that he didn't curse. Misraim. Kush, Misraim, Naput. and Put. Abanibo bagize Africa. So all these three are the one who composed Africa. Yinio Africa, but Nibo Banya Africa. Kush, Misraim, Naput. So this Kush, Misraim, and Put are the one who composed the population of Africa. Abanibo Banya Africa. These are Africans. Canaan. Canaan. Niba Bandi Kanani, Imana Abrabis Rero of Muri Africa, Momugene Mubiche Mubakure, Hanuma, Baza Benea Shemu Baza Hature. So the, 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 Can, the Canaanites were the descendants of Canaan who were living in the land of Israel today, that God told them when they were leaving Egypt, go and kill them and occupy the land. Ingaru Kazava, Nibo Biru Kamugu Chava Visere, Kakivamo, Bara Banya Kanani, Nava Kanani, Bakomo Kuriha. So the consequences of the curse is that they were destroyed by the Israelites, they were removed from their land, and then Israel occupied their land. It took 400 years. So after there have been seven major tribes, and all were from, descended from Canaan. There were Jebusites, Hevites, all those grouping of, of uh, Canaanites. So they were among them. The Canaan. So who lived in the land of Canaan? And that's where they become the promised land. So these are the ones who received the consequences of those. So during the time of colonization, and during the time of slavery when they're taking blacks so the Europeans came with this mindset that uh, even some Americans they, they had this mindset that Africans have been cursed, so you need they need to come and serve us. You are there from harm, you need to come and serve us from Jaffa. No, yeah. uh, Yes. Shame exactly. even a Japheth. Don't you call Kubesha? So that was a lie. That's not the Bible says. People thought it was true. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, so people used to think this is correct, it is biblical, no, it is not true. Uh, Noah cursed Kana, not Ham. So Africans, Kushite, Israel, put, they are not cursed. I think we should stop from here today. We're going to continue next time. Uh, with our session tomorrow. Eh? Tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to continue next time. Deka, to bashimire cyane. We thank you so much. Kandi tubabaye ko nta muvumo mufite. 
We are going to uh, assure you that you are not cursed. Muri Yesu Kristo mwaravumutse kandi ni muri muri byaru rwo kwa kanane. In Jesus name in Jesus you have been blessed and you are not part of the Canaanites. Imani bagirie neza. May God be good. Mana mana uri imbaraga zawo. Father I pray that you bring us our your miracles. Abarwaye bakire. Those who are sick that may be. Abavumwe bavumuru. Those who have been cursed to be uh, blessed. Abafite ibazo bikemuke. Those who have problem to be solved. Iri joro ibi joro ryiza. Tonight be a great night. Urarane nabana ba. Sleep with your children. Wiriyanwe nabana ba. Spend your day with your children. Mwizi na rya Yesu Kristo mwami. In the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Imani bampere umugisha. May God bless you.